So as soon as I heard that story this morning, I knew I had to make this video to help out not only him, but other people as well that are dealing with the same situation. Right now, your credit card interest rate might be above 20%, and that is costing you a fortune, just like in this example, four or $500 just in interest every single month. So in the day and age that we're living in right now, using a credit card is almost mandatory. You can't really do much without it from online shopping to paying for a number of things. Even in the physical world, you do need a credit card. And when you do have a credit card, that means you need to pay it off every single month. But oftentimes you can't pay it off every single month, which means then you carry a balance. The unfortunate part of that is then you're going to be getting hit with very high interest rates, such as from 19.99% all the way up to even 27.99% or even higher. Now, obviously, if you carry that balance for a few months on a small amount, it doesn't really add up for, you know, into too much interest. But if you are carrying a big amount, 10, 20, 30, $40,000, 20% interest rate, is very expensive and very costly. So this morning, actually, I was helping out one of my coaching students and we were talking about credit card debt and I had to make this video based on our conversation. So the story goes that he's paying up to $450 a month just in interest, just in interest to his local bank and for carrying a very expensive balance on his credit card close to around $25,000. Now, the problem with that is obviously that amount is just new interest that piles on every single month. So trying to keep up with that and even paying the minimums is very, very difficult because you have huge amounts that you have to pay every single month. So as soon as I heard that story this morning, I knew I had to make this video to help out not only him, but other people as well that are dealing with the same situation. Right now, your credit card interest rate might be above 20%. And that is costing you a fortune, just like in this example, four or $500 just in interest every single month. And every single month, that interest is adding on to the existing principal. And then you got compounding amounts now of interest that's adding up to previous month's amounts. So if you don't get a handle on this, it gets very, very hard to catch up and to pay down the the principal amount. So what I did right away is I went to his local bank's website and I looked for low interest rate credit cards. And luckily there was one. So I sent him the text of the URL of that card. And I told him, call the bank right now, tell them I want to switch from the card that I currently have, which was paying or charging 19.99% interest and change to this lower rate card, which was only charging 12.99%. He called me back not even 10 minutes later and said it went through fine. They're going to send him a new card. And the interest rate now went down from 20% down to 13%. That little savings alone is going to save hundreds of dollars a month in interest costs that now he can change and convert and pay down to the principal amount instead of having it go to the interest portion. So it's really important when you're paying down debt, you want to keep the interest rate as low as possible. You obviously don't want to get your principal as high either, but at the same time, you really need to focus on lowering the interest rates because the interest rates is what gets people and what traps them into that credit card debt which then becomes unescapable. So any little bit that you can save will work wonders for you because then you can take that extra amount and then throw it on the principal amount. And then what obviously is going to happen is your principal is going to go down and your monthly interest is going to go down as well. And that's when you're going to start seeing a snowball effect and you're going to be able to finally catch up and pay down your credit card debts. So for me, I'm in Canada and my student was in Canada as well. So the cards that I'm going to about to show you, I'm going to screen share my screen right now on my computer. And I'm going to show you a couple examples from a couple banks. And if you're in the US or if you're in Europe or any other part of the world, you may have this option as well. Most likely you do. You just need to make sure you check with your bank and get them to switch you over to a lower interest rate card, which is going to save you so much. A lot of the times when you're paying on the higher interest rate cards, you're probably having a points card. And those points card, yeah, they can get you free flights or free you know, purchases on certain items in their uh, shopping store. But at the same time, does it really matter? At the end of the day, if you have 
no debt, you can obviously afford a lot of stuff that you really want to pay anyways. So the point is you really want to get that debt off your plate so you can start holding on to the cash that you're making and not having to pay the banks in interest rates. All right, let's dive into my computer. We're going to take a quick look at three websites and three cards of banks that offer low interest rates. And then that way it can give you an idea of what you can do with your financial institution as well. Let's jump in. All right, the first one that I'm looking at is the RBC Visa Classic Low Rate Option. This is a great card which you can use to save on interest. Uh, here you have purchase rate of only 12.99%. And also if you pull out any cash, you're also gonna be saving. A lot of times you see cards that have a purchase rate of 19.99% and then a cash advance rate is gonna be closer to 22.99%. But with these type of cards, the cash advance rate and the purchase rate is the same amount, which is absolutely fantastic. And an annual fee of only $20, that will pay for itself with the amount that you're saving coming from almost 20% or 22% down to 12.99%. All right, another card we're gonna take a look at here is the BMO Preferred Rate MasterCard, another bank in Canada as well. Same idea, 20% annual fee, 12.99 for purchases, 12.99 for cash advances. And a lot of times, if you get this card new, again, I have no affiliation with any of these financial institutions, but I'm just showing you as an example of what might be available in your country or your bank you might be able to get an introductory interest rate offer on a balance transfer. So if you have a card that is charging you 20% interest, if you jump onto a card like this, for example, again, not promoting this card, but I'm just showing you as an example, you can get an introductory rate of 4%, which again is gonna save you wonders. Just imagine going from 20% to 4%, you're gonna be saving a fortune just on the interest. And then you can take all that money that you're saving and not having to pay an interest and then pay off the principal amount, which obviously is gonna allow you to pay off your credit card a lot faster. And here for this example, you get a nine month uh, offer. All right, here's another one, just a final example. Even on a smaller financial institution like credit unions, you have also options like this. Here's the Enviro Classic Visa card. Again, even lower, 11.25% annual fee, around the same of 25 dollars per year but as you can see interest rate is very very low and it's going to definitely help you save money the thing is you want to avoid carrying that balance in the first place if you can and if you can't you obviously want to pay the lowest amount of interest to carry that balance you see every month you're paying this interest amount and the interest amount is usually just a little bit less perhaps than the minimum payment. So you're paying a certain amount just to service the debt, just to carry that amount of debt. So you wanna obviously have your carrying costs as low as possible. So then that way you're not paying so much in interest and you're able to then take your money, your income, your work income, whatever you're making, and then putting it into the principal so you can finally pay it off. You can bring it back down to zero and then not have to pay any interest at all. I just wanted to create this short video to help you get out of debt as quick as possible. Carrying debt for a lot of people is extremely, extremely stressful. And that's not something I want you to have on your mind, on your back, or even in your heart. I want you to be able to be debt free so you can go out there and enjoy life and actually make investing decisions and smarter purchasing decisions. So then that way you can have your money grow instead of contract. So if you got any value out of today's video, please go down and give it a thumbs up. Also leave me a comment if this tip helped you, if you were able to call your bank and this did work for you and you were able to save your interest uh, payments as well. And also if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I do provide a ton of value on personal development, mindset training, confidence training, productivity training, and also things like this, personal finance, where it all is a holistic approach to the entire thing. When you have debt, you get stressed. When you get stressed, you can't be productive. When you can't be productive, things don't work out. You have a mindset which is a contracting mindset. It's not an abundance mindset. It all plays hand in hand. This is why I'm creating this type of content to be able to give you the skills to live the best life without limits so you can better your life, your family's life, and your community's life as well. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video.